All right, we're going to take a look at SDR trunk again, this time on a Pi 64 using a AirSpy that I have connected. This is remotely, so I'm VNC connected through it, and then I've got the audio worked out so that we can hear this working. First thing, though, I'm going to update uh, the version that's uh, in DragonOS Pi 64, which I plan to get up onto SourceForge once I'm done working out GNU Radio 3.10 into the Pi build. But what we'll do here is... Uh, the same steps basically apply to SDR trunk that's already included in uh, Dragonos Pi 64, but we're going to grab this uh, beta 2 here. If you go to this GitHub page under releases, we download the uh, Arch 64. We'll save that. <clears throat> we're also going to need, because the program, uh, unlike on the X64 build, doesn't build the JMB E through the um, options automatically like it does, we're going to grab this JMBE creator application, same thing, Arch64, the zip. We'll download and save it. So if I didn't already point it out on the project page here for SDR uh, trunk, you can see that it's a cross-platform Java, Java application for decoding, monitoring, recording, and streaming trunked mobile and related radio protocols using SDRs. So we're going to go into our downloads folder, or I was messing around here earlier cleaning up. And we will unzip the new SDR trunk. And we're also going to unzip the JMB the um, JMBE that we need. Okay, and we'll go into our SDR <coughs> trunk folder, go into bin, and we should be able to start this SDR trunk. We'll let this start up. Now make sure uh, before you do this, if you're using different versions, you should back up your playlist. You're also going to get a new pop-up here to perform CPU calibration. I'm going to skip that for right now, and I'm going to go straight to taking my air spy from 10 mega samples per second to change this here just to save some CPU here. Change this to 2.5. You can also disable the waterfall, which I think I'll do that for right now while I get things set up. Now this is a really quick setup here uh, using some information I got from Radio Reference for a P25 network. And so if you open the playlist editor, there's obviously a lot more uh, information that you can plug in, aliases, streaming uh, channels. There's there's all kind of additional things. I'm just going to go show a quick setup here. Hopefully keep this a short video. Go to channels. I know it's a P25 phase one. We'll give it a little bit of information here. And I know the one of the control frequencies Hopefully there's some activity here. 625. We'll say the air spy. We'll add that. I'm going to leave everything down here. I know C4FM I think is fine. Maybe I'll bump up the channels here. Save. I should put it up here. And we will come back to showing the waterfall. And once we hit play, this is going to go over to the uh, asking us to set up the JMBE library. And so this is a difference here because you're not going to uh, run a create library like you can on 64. We're going to search for that download in our downloads folder. We'll go here. We'll go under, let's say, oops. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me open it up. We might need to build this. Let's see. Let's 
let's run creator. So um, I, I forgot I had actually built this before. So if we go into the uh, creator Linux bin folder and we dot forward slash run this creator, this should download and create the JMBE library. You can see here it's downloading the source code, so of course you're going to need internet while you're doing this. <clears throat> Let it compile, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, it's built and just note where this is at. Creator Linux right in the top level directory there. So if we come back, select, downloads, creator, and there we go. There's our what we need for the um, audio. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and hit play. You'll notice that this will switch over to our control channel. and hopefully we'll get some audio here pretty quick if not I'll chop up the video to when it does get some audio we'll try and play it out here some audio Now you can click on these channels and you'll get more details down here below. Now this audio might not sound the greatest because I'm VNC'd here and it's streaming back through the VNC, but I think you get the uh, the idea here. It actually sounds really well when you have it all uh, set up and there's um, calls going back and forth through here on this P25 network. So, all right, <clears throat> I just wanted to keep it short, show how to get this set up, at least on the on the uh, Dragon OS Pi 64, which I don't know that I had covered that before. And uh, here's this latest running the uh, beta two. Okay, I think that's about all the audio we'll get for right now, but it does work and uh, works pretty well with the AirSpy, the HackRF, and the RTL SDR. This beta, though, there is an issue with the um, HackRF. If you're using it and then stop the program, it will uh, still have the HackRF receiving, so you need to run like uh, HackRF underscore info or unplug, unplug back in the HackRF. So just uh, wanted to mention that. All right. Thanks.